Good morning, YouTube. Today's video is part of my mini series that I have here on my channel for all those families that will be PCSing to Japan. So if you guys are interested in anything to do with housing, stay tuned for the rest of the video. What's up, guys? So... I've been wanting to make for a really long time because you guys ask me so many questions about housing and I really want to give you the most up-to-date, most recent information. Unfortunately, sometimes it can be hard to film. So, unfortunately, I was not given permission to actually go film inside, which is so silly because I was just going to go film myself, ask all the questions you guys ask me, but I'm... I don't know, people get scared when a camera comes in and I'm gonna put it on YouTube, whatever. So unfortunately, I can't show you inside the building, but I will show you the outside, so let's go. Yeah. Nine on one, Shelby Drive, look alive, look alive. Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side. All right guys, so, as I mentioned earlier, I've been having a little bit of issues trying to get information for you guys because they're trying to stop me. They're trying to stop me from helping you guys. Um, and I totally get it. I understand that there are rules when it comes to social media. People don't want to get in a situation where they might get in trouble, blah, 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 whatever. To be completely honest, it was a little bit difficult I just don't know why people don't want to give me the information when whatever it's irrelevant I got it okay you guys already know I got my ways so I got some information to share with you guys that I think would be really helpful for you guys to know when it comes to housing here at Yokota before I give you this information if you haven't already downloaded the Yokota app I highly suggest downloading it because they actually have information in regards to PCSing here for newcomers and things like that. So I would say start there if you if you just got orders to Yokota, download the app. That's going to be really, really helpful. Uh, has a ton of information for you guys to educate yourself on. I know a lot of you guys are really concerned about getting a particular house. I will say that depending on the season that you will be PCSing here, it really, really does depend because if you are coming in during the summer, which is high PCS season, the housing can be a little bit competitive. The rule is, is that they are going to give you the home that is next available to your family size and all of that. So just keep that in mind that just because you want a house with a yard or three rooms instead of two rooms, you may not always get it. I don't wanna mislead you guys into thinking that there are ways to get your things. I will say that depending on your rank, obviously military is big on, on ranks, so it is what it is. Their on-base housing inventory has zero houses, greater than four bedrooms. So just be aware of that. Um, normally they are going to look at ages of the children and whether or not they can share a bedroom, but usually they want to have one child per bedroom. That may not be the case because of the size of the houses here. So if you have a big family, just know that most likely your children will have to share bedrooms. For pets, I know a lot of you guys are really concerned about your pets and housing does not have fences. For example, the garden units that have a yard, you do have to purchase your own fence. You have to pay for the assembly of the fence and purchase the fence itself. Not every garden unit has a yard, so if you do get a garden unit, on the second floor, you're not gonna get a yard. If you get a garden unit on the first floor, you have the yard. Towers do not have yards. Obviously, they're more like apartment complexes. So you're most likely gonna get a balcony and it's super small. For garden units, there's no more than two pets allowed in each unit. Same goes for tower residents. You are not allowed to have more than two pets per unit. And in the towers, you can only have them up to the second and third floor, I believe, is 
the limit anything above the third floor you are not allowed to have pets you are allowed to have like fish and hamsters and things like that but you have to have them in a, in their cages they are pretty strict when it comes to the breed they don't allow any dogs that are potentially aggressive um, I will say I've seen pit bulls here. That's something that I highly suggest you guys look into if you are planning on bringing your pets and you're not sure if they're an aggressive breed. They're pretty strict with that, so just be aware. Also, just know that pets are not considered dependents. You will have to pay out of pocket all of the transportation, like flights and cage, I don't know, all of that is out of your pocket. Uh, and I've heard it can get really expensive, like two grand, depending on where you're coming from. So just keep that in mind. Pets are not considered dependents when it comes to housing and all of that. So when it comes to procedures, as soon as you get to Yokota, you will have to go and check in at housing within 48 hours of landing. So that's two days. I have heard, and don't quote me, but I have heard that you can start the paperwork for housing. So if you have the opportunity to get ahead when it comes to the housing application and information, I would say go ahead and do that. We didn't do that, which we only found out that that was available afterwards. I don't know if it's still available. I'm assuming it is because I feel like that's a really good thing to know. Just make sure that you do that. And also going back to the pets, you will have to go and register them, get all their vaccinations, go do all, all of that process as well as soon as you arrive at Yokota to get your pets registered and certified in with the vaccinations. I don't know the entire procedure when it comes to that, but as soon as you get here, you will have to do all of that. And I'm sure housing will give you a little bit more information as to the process of registering your pets. When they decide to offer you a house and you decide that, hey, I'm, I don't want this house. I wanna wait until they offer something more, then just know that they're gonna immediately stop the temporary lodging allowance so as soon as you deny your first house you will have to start paying out of pocket the hotel it kind of sucks but if you really want a house and you want to wait for something better then I would say it'd be worth it if you're gonna be staying here for a long time some people do have the option to go off base in most cases you will be stationed on the military base. I believe it's a certain rank that you can move off base if you choose to. Uh, most families will be on base. If you are a single airman moving here, you will probably be in the dorms. That is just the case, how it is. Um, like I said, I think there's a certain rank that you're able to move off base. I know that this is just touching the basics when it comes to housing. There's so much more information um, on the Yakota app. So I highly encourage you guys to download the app that has a ton of different numbers so that you guys have access to reaching people here at Yakota and just get more specific details to you. But I hope that this video helps and I hope that this takes a little bit of stress away from your moving process and just know that everything is okay, it'll be fine. But anyways, be sure to like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that you know every time I upload a new video. I will be continuing this series here on my channel so stay tuned for all of that thanks for watching guys i'll see you in my next one bye